Well, hello everyone and welcome back to my week of growing my own food. And this week, as you can imagine, it's all about the storm. My name's Richard and I am on a mission to grow as much food as I possibly can. On my allotment and modern victory garden, we have plenty of land in which to achieve this. And this is my video diary. Well, good morning, everybody. It's Saturday, the 19th of February. It's the day after Storm Eunice has hit. Still a little bit windy. More importantly, I've got a lot of things I need to get on and do today. We've had a bit of an upset, a lot of debris on the ground here and a bit of damage. My veggie pod has got a, a slight bit of damage. Can't do anything about that today, but I'll get hold of the veggie pod and sort that out. More importantly, the greenhouse, the uh, roof vent has <laughs> snapped off, gone missing. And the worst thing is my workshop window is snapped in half. So yeah, today is going to be a day of getting that all into a good state for the time being anyway. Well, we've been busy tidying up today and trying to get everything in a, <laughs> a sort of straight way. Unfortunately, the weather has turned worse again, which was predicted. Strong winds, rain, so we're not gonna be able to do as much as I'd hoped today. Now, the good news is the veggie pod, it's only this little tea piece here that has broken. So that's something or nothing. I've already contacted veggie pod, I've got a new piece on order. So that was nice and easy. And I'm actually quite impressed how well it lasted. Now the greenhouse, good news is, if I come around here, I have actually found the missing panel. Um, easy to slot into place, but unfortunately the bit that secures it down has snapped. So I'm a bit reluctant about putting it into place. Or well, has it snapped? I'm gonna have to go and have a look and just see, just in case we can get that back into place right now. So, so all I've got to do is slide this panel, if I can get it right, through that groove and all the way down and then if I go on the inside quickly grab it while the wind blows I just reattach these two bits together there we go and close it down And that should keep that greenhouse going for a little bit longer once I close the door. Right, let's go to a look at that shed window. I think it's safe to say this shed window has taken a battering. The wood was a bit too rotten, it's just obviously what's given up. And I don't think it's going to be salvageable at all. I'm going to have to find a glazer to get a new window made up for this at some point. Shame, it's a, it's a good shed this one. So I think what I'm gonna have to do, just as a temporary measure, screw some wood panels up, just to try and secure it a little bit for the time being, uh, until I can get a proper glazer in to fix this properly. Oh, not going to be easy doing this in the wind and on my own. Oh well, it has to be done, don't it? So, uh, okay. <laughs> Let's <laughs> semi-protected not brilliant but it will do for now I'm gonna run on inside because this is getting too wet now 
Well, hello everyone. Um, right, yesterday I did go to the allotment to assess what damage was done down there. Unfortunately, we had another storm coming in. It was very wet, very windy, so I couldn't film anything. Apologies about that, but I'll just let you know that apart from a few panes of glass broken on the greenhouse and a few bits blown over, nothing was too bad. So rather pleased about that. Now, a few weeks ago, I read an article from Monty Don who recommends sowing both cucumbers and tomatoes in February. So I thought I'm going to give that a go and just see how well we get on with that. Uh, I'll keep you posted on how that goes. I'm going to sow those tonight, get those in a heated propagator and see what happens. Right, well, that is it for this week's apologies for being slightly short. It's just like with this storm you know it's best to be safe then sorry uh, there's always next week where we can catch up all right guys until next time you take care